Hello, this is Reza from Radicad and in this video I'm going to talk about how to handle the date and time column in Power BI and connect it to both date dimension and time dimension in a data model. Let's see how it works. Use the link down below in my in the description to get to my blog article about uh, links of how to create date and time table. I've explained that you can use a Power Query script to create a date dimension. Date dimension is a table that has one record per day with all attributes such as year, month. Uh, you can have like fiscal columns, public holidays. This script is available in the website, uh, Radicad website. Uh, you can get the link down from the description below. Uh, and timetable here is a table that has one record per the time span you want to analyze. Here, for example, we have one record per second, but sometimes you might have one record per minute. Uh, these two tables exist uh, and I've written blog posts about it But then I got a question from readers that how they can connect this to a fact table that has a date and time column in it So here you can see that I have a date and time column in one uh, Place date and time together how you can actually achieve date and time separately um, So easily you can come to power query editor from power bi you go to home transform data you come to power query editor in here you can select your uh, Date and time column in the fact table um, This should be like in the fact table and uh, then your time and date connects to the fact table They don't connect to each other directly. They connect to the fact table um, and here in uh, fact table, I select the date and time column. I go to add columns and under date, I select date only. This means that this will add a column as a date only. If I do the same thing, add column time, time only, that will add another column as a time. So this is the example of having date and time column added. You can see that these are now separated two columns and when they are separated I don't need the start time column anymore I can remove that and this would be like kind of my fact table in this example my fact table doesn't really have any numeric columns like uh, something to uh, to aggregate or anything like that but this is just an example so I have date and time columns separated now when I say close and apply in Power BI, I can create relationships from time table to the fact table, from date table to the fact table, uh, and that creates still my star schema working. Uh, another question that I got uh, when I explained about time dimension was that when uh, when you create time dimension, how you can have date and time now that they are in separate tables part of one axis. You can still do that. Here is an example of uh, a line chart. In this line chart, I have an axis that has a date time. Here you can see date and time together in one axis. The way that it works is that I just brought uh, columns from date table first, then columns from timetable, and they act like a hierarchy. You can use these um, drill down, drill up options to navigate in your hierarchy and everything works just perfectly fine. Uh, and uh, just mentioning that another reason, uh, one reason that we don't combine date and time together in one table is that if we combine them together in one table, that would be really big table, especially if you are working on time spans of seconds. Uh, and you should avoid creating such a big table because that will make your Power BI file bigger, the memory consumption will be much more. Uh, so that is why we combine them in the fact table just in case we have timely uh, analysis required. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.